Hi ninjas, how are you guys doing? It's your girl, oh, I'm Nichi Bajoro, aka Miss Fair for Color Frame, back for all entertainment. If you're first time joining me, most definitely welcome. Please do make sure that I subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you. And do not forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's at Boldly Oami. Now, my ninjas, let's go ahead and get into this chain day. I'm gonna go ahead and just address because I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask the pink hair. Guys, that woman. You guys saw there was a line, right? That woman literally took all my hairline and everything that she had from wherever she was from. I don't know if she had like stress and she was like, girl, I'm, I'm coming for you. You know, she pulled me so hard. I did not sleep the previous night. And in the morning, I just went to the salon removed and I got my normal, just a normal straight back because that's what I wanted. I was doing my nails when she was doing my hair, so I did not see what she was doing. But I could feel that it was really painful. And so I just, no, I just could not, okay? Uh, maybe that's a story for another day, but I removed because I could not take the pain. I did not come to this earth to suffer, okay? I was not born for that life, no. <laughs> But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. We're going to talk about killer blogger, um, Musa Kaula, okay? Now, this is the thing about us first that I'm going to talk about as South Africans. In my personal opinion, I do feel like we are actual hypocrites. We're out here and we're demanding justice for AKA. We need to know who killed AKA, who killed Vusi R R5, who killed DJ somebody. You know, the, the list goes on of people that have been murdered our celebrities that have been murdered um and these cases have just gone on to be called cases where who's even like at one point i was just like yo like let's just go ahead and move on from who killed senzo because it seems like the case keeps on spinning then this one dies then this one happens then this and this and just like it's been so long that literally the SAPS is just like making us get to a point where we're just like, okay, that is fine. Like, it's okay. You, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's just absolutely crazy. But anyway, um, for me, I do feel like we're hypocrites because we're already saying that we need them to arrest the killers. We need them to find the people that actually did this, the perpetrators, and obviously lock them behind bars. But here we are cheering on a killer who is Musa Kaula. And it's, it's not speculated, it's not, no, he killed somebody, he murdered somebody. That's a fact. The only thing that is left now is, I don't know why they have not arrested him. Like, there is your killer. Like, that, that's how, I feel like that also just shows the level of incompetence that SAPS has or our justice system literally has. Because if I'm not too mistaken, it's going to be going to almost a year of Musa Kaula out here um um after he has like killed somebody you know um he's on youtube now obviously and his channel is doing well he's getting a lot of views um and i'm gonna go ahead and just say that like by the time they decide maybe they're gonna lock him up if he was somebody that had a proper head like if his head was on his shoulders right he could have made enough money and run away and be gossiping hell up bitches in a different country do you understand what i'm saying like the saps gives people way too much opportunity to run bruh but i don't think we have to get worried about that when it comes to him musagola is not the brightest in my opinion i feel like even when it comes to just blogging i don't he's not um i feel like the best the thing that is very good at is just throwing insults and the unfortunate part again is that he absolutely has no line he has no line he has no limits he has no filter i don't know if people are actually just accepting him because he is gay and i know that there are people that are gonna ask when he came out or oh, i mean were you not um you know like standing with him i was and i genuinely really liked his content i loved him and i liked him because when musa kaula came to the space which was on twitter which i hear allegedly he's been there he's just been a failing um um and i guess blogger you know because if is talking about times that Mokuli roberts was still alive like that's like dog years or something you know like i don't know but anyway or like dinosaur years you know so basically when he i first knew of him obviously it was the scandal of michali that got him famous and i 
was really happy that oh okay it seems like this is a guy that actually cares about you know just exposing girls that are dating married men and i love it you guys know me like any time to shame and any time to like scold a woman and a married man who choose to actually come together um and be cheating on the wife I, like i'm there and it's it has nothing to do with anything it, i've just always been that way do you understand now it went borderline disrespectful when now he was just calling everyone a bitch like you is a man okay like you're a man and i think that that's why i'm saying that i don't know if it's because of his gay and so you know that whole situation like just makes people say oh you know um like we're gonna just let it slide i don't think that a straight man um you know someone like siswe lomo for example i'm so sorry to bring you uh, in this sir um i don't think that if it was him that would be out here calling every woman a bitch and whatever i don't think that it was gonna be accepted the way that people are accepting how musa kaula literally calls women and the way he talks about women do you understand that people that have a problem with make g and make g is no way even 10 percent close to the vileness that musa kaula has so that's why i'm just saying i don't know if he's you know also operating and working on his gay privilege but anyway he was trending and there was a lot of people that were actually saying that nah th what this guy is doing is crap you guys do know that ak unfortunately passed away um and he was gunned down in durban so the video obviously came out which obviously then up said us even more as a nation because we're like that was so senseless you know makes no sense everything is just yeah it has just been crazy honestly um and this is what musa kaula went on to say about you know his 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 album his daughter just watch this this nonsense wait we're gonna move on um you know that mass country by aka hmm didn't he die it was real sad and brutal and all of those things but then we also know that he did push that woman of the of the hundredth floor and whatnot so anyway mass country has been certified gold so i'm sure everybody is celebrating obviously ak is not here to see the achievements and one of which i'm thinking if ak had been alive it was going to take him two years for this mass country to reach gold but now y'all been listening y'all been supporting the dead which is real nice y'all is kind people anyway obviously all this the proceeds i'm hoping they're gonna go to what's that fucking child that dj is into child right cairo so the proceeds are gonna go to cairo i hope and obviously uh we know that aka had all the, the now for me i when i saw that i was like you deserve to be in jail darling like you deserve to just be in jail i don't think it's, and it has nothing to do with like just anything i i do believe that he is a danger to society you know um i don't think he's a hundred percent that's just me looking at him i really honestly do not um i did laugh when i saw someone on twitter talking about it, it seems like with every video that comes <laughs> it seems like his dreads are getting smaller and smaller but i think like when do we actually draw the line when do we actually say okay we are actually going to respect this is a boundary that i'm not going to cross um if this man just passed his family is still grieving heavily nadia is still grieving heavily his mother his daughter his father you know his parents i mean his family and his fans do you understand what i'm saying and so you are also gonna come out here and call his daughter a little child that is innocent that knows nothing about anything like a fucking child like you don't have any other vocabulary that you can use makes absolute no sense to me and the fact that people literally make excuses for this guy so much it's like oh guys it's musaka no and i've said this before no I mean, think about it, guys. Who calls Connie Ferguson a bitch? Like, no. I'm just trying to show you guys how vile this guy honestly really is. Um, at this point, I guess that as a country, 
our outrage is only selective if somebody makes us laugh and we like him then i guess that it is okay for him to can be out there killing people and the way that he would talk like oh he died hmm yeah then you just see that obviously you would kill somebody you don't seem like you're somebody that would even show remorse which i don't think that he actually does now my biggest question is if the allegations are saying that musa kaula walked into this guy's place asked for him to come out then stabbed him after stabbing him or during the process he beat his lip and the guy died you why have they not prosecuted do you now understand guys like this is why like we have so many people that are running away because they give them the opportunity to if it was a matter of this person had a lot of money they could have simply just skipped the country and be gone that's why even the guptas ain't here that's why like all this shit that actually happens here it happens the way that it's actually happening and so it's really honestly quite sad for me am i disappointed no musa kaula has no scruples in my opinion um however i just know i refuse shame i won't even lie i refuse to um you know be like oh yeah that's okay that's musa kaula no it's not he needs to learn to respect people's kids he needs to have boundaries with people and he most importantly he needs to respect the dead um he also did this crap with also Saifo's um uh, child you guys know Saifo um Hulzan Ravere's ex um and you know he was like out there talking about how the baby is ugly or the baby is not cute nah man like I think that he's just honestly becoming too much. But anyway, you guys love him, right? But I recommend below what you guys think of this whole situation. Um, and if we have a lawyer or somebody that is studying law, please tell me what would be taking so long for them to lock somebody up that stabs and kills. Because darling, are we safe? <laughs> you know? Honestly, but anyway, go ahead comment below as I said. Um, and yeah, man, this has to really honestly just be so sad. Mr. Carl is also just so insensitive. Ah, uh, anyway, yeah, go ahead and comment down below, and I will see you guys my next upload. Bye, ninjas.